Welcome back to another episode of the Pythonic Accountant. We are going to delve into the world of machine learning. And if you are anything like me, an accountant with no data science background, you probably are not very comfortable with the concept of machine learning and don't even know where to start. So lucky for us, there is a website and a book that goes along with it called Machine Learning for Kids. And that's kind of what we are. We're kids who don't know much about machine learning. So in today's episode, we're going to take a look at this website. We're going to create a machine learning model using images of cats and dogs. We're going to train it, and then we're going to test it to see if it's able to recognize the images correctly of cats versus dogs. So pretty cool. Nothing to do with accounting, obviously but it's a delve into the world of machine learning and uh, some foundation that we'll be able to use later down the road uh, for accounting. So stick with me. You'll see it's going to be pretty awesome. So if you want to follow along at home, feel free. You just need to go to machinelearningforkids.co.uk and click on Get Started. And um, we're not going to sign up for an account here. You can do that. It'll save your uh, model longer, but for our purposes, it's fine to just use the try it now. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a new project. We are going to call it cats versus dogs. And then we're going to recognize images and create. And now we're going to go into the project. Let's train this uh, machine learning model. So first we have to add uh, the labels for cat and for dog. And then we're going to drag some pictures in so it'll learn the difference between cats and dogs. So let's give it a few cats to learn. That's a cat. That's a cat. All these things that look like cats are cats. And a couple more. Give it some variety. That's probably good enough. Now let's give it some dogs. That's a dog. That's a dog. So right now we're just giving it pictures. It's not doing anything yet. But what's going to happen next is we're going to tell it, okay, machine learning, learn by looking at these pictures that these are pictures of cats or dogs. And what it'll then hopefully do is have a model that we can give it a new picture and it'll tell us whether it thinks it's a cat or a dog. So now we're going to go to the learn and test. And by the way, when you're doing machine learning in Python, it, it's usually not this simple. Um, that's one of the things I love about this website is they simplify the process significantly through these just you know graphical user interface ways of just clicking and dragging things. Um, when you're you know if you're just using Python, it's still you know not that challenging compared to non-Python, but uh, there's a lot more complexity to it. So this takes a lot of that out and abstracts it up to a pretty easy to understand level. Um, all right, so we've got eight examples of cat, nine examples of dog. Let's go ahead and train this model. So this is actually connecting to real machine learning. So this has, I believe, um, IBM Watson uh, that it's connecting to in the back end. And they have these free machine learning models that they uh, will do for us. And we're, it's now uh, probably first connecting to it. Then it's going to feed it the images of cats. And oh, I had an error. Let's, uh, let's just ignore that and, and try again. Train new model. And what it's going to do is it's going to train it on the pictures of cats versus dogs, assuming it works, that is. Then what we're going to do is, uh, if we get it working, we're going to first try to draw a picture of a cat and a picture of a dog. And even though we didn't feed it any drawings, uh, it still is going to be able to tell a little bit. All right, I don't know what the deal is. Let's go back to the project. Uh, back to the projects and train. Let's see if any of these pictures look funky. I don't think so. Uh, should be OK. And back to project. Let's try again. See if it's able to work this time. Train the model. Ah, let's see. Will it work? I don't know. So the cool thing is the third step in here is uh, once you've trained the model and tested it and confirmed that it's working, you can actually deploy it. You can make something with it. 
And the options in this website are to make something in Python or, yeah, it's working, or make something in Scratch. Scratch is a nice programming language uh, that's uh, meant for kids, but you can kind of click and drag the different blocks. And we're not going to show anything with Python or Scratch in this video. We're going to test this to see if it works. Uh, but in, a, in the next video, we'll probably dive into uh, either Scratch or Python. So let's draw just for fun. So I'm going to draw a cat. That's a really bad cat. But let's see if it tells me it's a cat. Oh, that thinks it's a dog. That was that was pretty bad. Let's try this. Maybe if we get a little more cat-like. Little tail. What do you think that is, huh? Is that a cat or a dog? Oh man, that's terrible. All right. Well, let's try the picture route. I'm gonna give you. Uh, dog that you've never seen before. Let's see what you think this is. Copy image link. Is that a cat or a dog? It's probably gonna say dog because it thinks everything's a dog. And let's see, you think that is a dog. 100% confident that's a dog. Wow, that's high confidence. All right, let's try a cat then. What do you think this is? If it says dog, then I need to retrain this model. It's pretty bad. Hmm, what is it? Cat, 95% confident. That is pretty cool. So we have successfully trained a machine learning model not to recognize my terrible drawing, but to recognize pictures of cats versus dogs. Again, the link to accounting, bit of a stretch, but we'll get there. Um, anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, click the subscribe button if you want to keep watching more and click like if you liked it and uh, stick around. We got many more fun ones to come.